Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial on conditionals. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to use if else blocks, use if e l i f slash else blocks, then use the ternary conditional statement minus c if x else y. To begin with, let us start IPython. So type IPython in the terminal. Whenever we have two possible states that can occur depending on a certain condition, we can use if else construct in Python. For example, say we have a variable a which stores integers and we have required to find out whether a is even or odd. Let's say the value of a is 5. So type a is equal to 5. In such a case, we can write the if else block as in command line if a percentage 2 is equal to is equal to 0 colon print in double quotes even else colon print in double quotes old If A is divisible by 2, that is, the result of a module 2 is 0. It prints even, otherwise it prints odd. Note that, in such a case, only one of the two blocks gets executed depending on whether the condition is true or false. There is a very important syntactic, syntactic element to understand here. Every code block begins with a line that ends with A. In this, sim in this example, the if and the else lines, also all the statements inside the code block are intended by four spaces. Hitting enter twice ends the block code. The if else block works for a condition which can take one of the two states. But what to do for condition which can take more than two states? So, Python provides if elif else blocks for such conditions. For example, we have a variable a which holds integer values. We need to print positive if a is positive, negative if it is a negative or zero. Zero in case if it is zero. So, let us use if slash elif slash else ladder for it. For the purposes of testing our code, let us assume that the value of a is minus 3. So type a is equal to minus 3. Then in condition, if a is greater than 0, colon, print, is in double quotes, positive, ELIF that is else is A is less than 0 print negative negative in double quotes else else colon print is in double quotes 0. All the syntax and rules as set for if else statements hold the same. The only addition here is the elif statement which can have another condition of its own. Here too exactly one block is code one block of code is executed. The block of code which value which first evaluates to true. Even if there is a situation where multiple conditions evaluate to true, all the subsequent conditions other than the first one which evaluates to true are neglected. Consequently, the else block gets executed if and only if all the conditions evaluate to false. 
Also, the else block in both if else statement and if else if slash else else is optional. We can have a single statement or just if slash elif statement without having else block at all. Also, there can be any number of elif within an if slash elif slash else ladder. So, for example, if user is equal to is equal to in single quotes admin colon, then elif user is equal to is equal to single quotes moderator colon, then elif user is equal to is equal to client in single quotes colon. Note that there are multiple elif blocks and there is no else block. So pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video. Given a number num, write any cell block to print num as is if it is divisible by 10, else print 10 star num. The solution is on your screen. If num modulo 10 is equal to is equal to 0, colon print num, else colon print 10 star num. Uh, 10 multiplied by num. In addition to these conditional statements, Python provides a very convenient primary conditional operator. Let us take the following example where we read the marks from a data file which is obtained as a string as we read a file. The marks can be in a range of 0 to 100 or in AA if the student is absent. In such a case, to obtain the marks as an integer, we can use the ternary conditional operator. Let us say the string score is stored in the score underscore str variable. So type score underscore str is equal to in single quote aa. Now let us use the ternary conditional operator. So type score is equal to int within bracket score underscore str if score underscore str exclamation is equal to in single quotes aa else 0. given a number num, write a ternary operator to print num as is if it is divisible by 10 else print 10 into num. The solution is on your screen. Print num if num modular 10 is equal to is equal to 0 else 10 multiplied by num. So moving on. There are certain situations where we will have no operations or statements within a block of code. For example, we have a code where we are waiting for the keyboard input. If the user enters C, D or X as input, we would perform some operations. Nothing otherwise. So in such cases, pass statement comes very handy. So A is equal to raw underscore input so enter C to calculate and exit and D to display the existing result exit and X to exit and any other key to continue if A is equal to is equal to C colon ELIF A is equal to is equal to in single quotes D colon then ELIF A is equal to is equal to single quotes X colon L colon to pass. In this case, pass statement acts as a placeholder for the block of code. It is equivalent to a null operation. It literally does nothing. It can be used as a placeholder when the actual code implementation for a particular block of code is not yet known but has to be filled up later. This brings us to an end of the tutorial. 
In this tutorial, we have learned to understand the conditional statements in Python. Use if else statement. Use if elif slash else statement. Apply the ternary conditional statement minus c if x else y. Use pass statement. Here are some self-assessment questions for you to solve. First one, use conditional statements for the following. Given a variable time, print good morning. If it is less than 12, otherwise hello. Convert the if, second one, convert the if else ladder below into a ternary conditional statement. Given x is equal to 20, if x is greater than 10, colon print x multiplied by 100 else print x. Now, let's look at the answer. We can use the if else function statement as if time less than 12 colon print good morning else colon print hello the if else ladder can be converted to a ternary conditional statement as print x multiplied by 100 if x is greater than 10 else x so we hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful thank you